What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Hope you're having a great weekend. Today we're actually going to be working on the Razor MX650 MX2000 Mini Supermoto build. Uh, so today I'm actually going to be installing the Hydro Brake Kit because this thing has gotten really sketchy. Uh, ever since I installed the Kunray 2000 watt uh, brushless motor kit, the bike's been going, you know, 30, 31, 32. It's definitely brought out a lot of the weak points of the Razor MX650, like the stock tires and the stock brakes. It's just, I already took care of the tires. These are DOT street tires. Those are rated for much higher speed than this thing's ever gonna go. Um, but the stock cable brakes with the 160 mil front, 140 mil rear rotors, it's just showing a lot of weakness, inconsistency, and I think my rear brake cable is starting to stretch. So we're gonna take care of that today by installing a hydro brake kit. So this is all that came with the brake kit that I got. I've got a pair of these Zoom brake levers and caliper set pre-assembled with the lines. One of them is much longer than the other one. So the shorter one goes on the front brake and then this one's gonna be routed to go to the rear. Uh, it also came with a pair of these X-Tech 160 millimeter disc rotors. They're drilled. Not really sure if this is gonna be a direct bolt on to the bike. I'm sure these will fit directly on the bolt pattern, but I mean, as far as the position of the caliper, since these do mount differently, in comparison to the stock caliper posts. So it came with an adapter. It came with these um, adapters to hopefully make it a direct bolt on. We will find out. This does look almost identical to the brake kit that I considered uh, almost getting from Electro & Co. And then I noticed that the calipers and um, Brake levers have the same exact logo, so zoom, as the ones on Electro & Co. Um, but that's supposed to be direct bolt-on. Hopefully this is gonna be direct bolt-on as well, if not minimal modifications. It would be amazing if this kit bolted directly on the bike without any sort of modifications, because this whole kit was like less than 50, 60 bucks shipped, which is like half the price of the Electro & Co. Hydro brake kit. So let's go install this thing. So for the front rotors, the size is pretty much the same as stock. It just looks a little different as far as design. Uh, but for the rear, it is definitely much larger, like almost an inch larger. This is a one, 160 and that's a 140. So I'm gonna start on the front by taking the cables off of the brake levers. And then I'm gonna loosen the Allen bolts on the mounting point on the levers to the handlebar. Then I'm gonna wiggle them off, take them out, and then I'm gonna lift the front of the bike up, take the front wheel off, take the front stock caliper and stock rotor off. Now we're gonna take the stock rotor off the front wheel and then we're gonna install the new rotors. So to take the stock rotor off, we just need a four millimeter Allen socket and then take these six bolts off. Keep this rotation arrow in mind you want to install the new rotor in the same fashion, arrow pointing the same way. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. All right, so it seems like the rotor on the front is not the same exact size as far as the bolt pattern goes. So I'm gonna be reinstalling the stock rotor for now. Since it's the same size, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna order a different set of rotors for another day. What I am going to use though, 
This is the black hardware that it came with. Brand new bolts, three millimeter socket. This is what the new caliper looks like installed on the stock razor fork with the adapter that's included. You see there's markings over here on the inside of the bracket that allows this caliper to be installed with a 160 mil rotor front, or I can use this bracket to mount this caliper to the back and use it for the 140 mil, but this is the right configuration. So I'm glad to see that it actually works with the stock rotor. Um, so I am gonna tie the uh, hydraulic hose closer to the fork to keep it away from the wider tire that I installed. And then I'm actually gonna disconnect the hose from the brake lever and I'm gonna loop it through this hole, creep it right through the headlamp area. And then I'm gonna mount the um, brake lever on, but I am probably gonna end up shortening this hose maybe three or four inches. I just noticed on the rear caliper, the bracket that it came with allows this caliper to be mounted on the front with a 180 or in the back with a 160. So that gets me thinking, maybe I could change my plans here and go for even larger rotors. After doing some further research, I figured out why these rotors that came with the zoom brakes did not fit correctly on my wheels. That's because these are 44 millimeter bolt hole to bolt hole, which is actually a typical bolt pattern size for mountain bikes. But uh, unfortunately it's not the same for the Razor MX650 and MX500. Those are the older bolt pattern style. Like you can still find them for like flange style hubs. Uh, so it's actually a 48 millimeter bolt hole to bolt hole um, bolt pattern size. So I'm gonna have to look around to see what I can find as far as larger rotors on this. I know I want at least 160 mil for the rear and the front. Hopefully I can find a set that's 180 for the front. Another thing to keep in mind is these are supposed to be about two millimeters, 1.9, two millimeters. Thick. Uh, I was wondering why the caliper fit correctly on the front as far as overall diameter, but it did fit a little tight on the rotor. Uh, that's because the stock rotors on these are three millimeters. So to get the hydro brakes to work correctly, you have to stick with two millimeter rotors and 48 millimeter bolt hole sizing. That said, I am gonna have to cut the video shorter Unfortunately, this is just how it goes with modifications. It doesn't always go perfectly as planned the first time around, but we're gonna get this thing done right, and it's gonna be even better with larger rotors. So if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you wanna keep up with my Razer MX project or my Kawasaki KLX or any of my other projects, consider subscribing to my channel, but this is gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching.